when we woke up to a fun surprise. It's afternoon now, but not all this overnight. Still won't fight yet. Ah. <laughs> As you can see, we have lawn furniture we didn't put away because we were in denial about the snow reports. It's mid-October and the kids are in their hats and gloves and boots because we had our first snowfall of the year, which is kind of typical for this area. But um, so obviously because we had our first snowfall, we are not going to be out at the land clearing or cutting today. Um, so there's something else we've been meaning to do for a while and we have been meaning to set up our new treadmill. So the treadmill that we got was um, from Soul Fitness. It is a F63 is what it's called. And as you see, it is a beast. And it is monstrous. So instead of going to the gym and working out there um, with the pandemic, we just don't really feel like that's a good option. So we've been thinking about getting a treadmill for a really long time. I researched online just trying to figure out what um, the best treadmill would be for the money and there wasn't a whole lot of options um, not much was in stock so after doing some searching around um, I found Soul Fitness and that was actually the brand of the treadmill at the old gym that I used to go to one of the things that I heard about this treadmill is that if you're if you want something that you can heavily run on um, that you probably want to go a size up from the F63. We don't have a lot of space and I don't want to take up a ton of space anyway. So this one is a really decent size. Um, Zach is a tall guy and so with his stride and everything we made sure that this would be good. And he's um, well over six feet. And the reviews were pretty good and the price was decent. Um, and so this one that we got, we got on sale for um, just under a thousand dollars and um, it has some warranties on it. I knew there was a, a warranty but I didn't know it would be a lifetime on both the frame and the motor. That's yeah. amazing. Right? <laughs> Soul's the way to go. I'm so excited. And free shipping which was awesome so we got free shipping. It did take a little while to get here. Um, it on their website it's warned that you know it was going to ship out in probably about 45 days and I think I think it was about a month after um, but what happened was I placed the order got my confirmation and um, in my confirmation it said that I would be contacted by a representative to schedule the delivery they uh, were only offering curbside so anyway the process was that once I scheduled the delivery they called me about 10 minutes before they arrived um, the guy pulled up in front of our house on the street it was probably like the size of a furniture delivery truck um, and he had um, you know, a lift on the end of his truck and he had a manual lift that he used to get the pallet. And so he brought the pallet out, dropped it down, and then just pulled it up with the lift all the way up and we had our garage door open. So we just opened the garage door and he brought it right inside. And then um, my husband had to sign off that he received it. There's a little bit of damage to the box, but not a lot. We did note that it was a little bit damaged on the box, just so that, you know, if we have any trouble with it, um, it's noted by the delivery company. Our steps down into the basement, which is where we're gonna put the treadmill, we're gonna put it in the basement. But the steps going down into the basement are a little bit more narrow and um, with just the sheer size and the weight of the box, I didn't wanna try to get it down in the basement. Um, I just was worried that it wasn't gonna really fit. So what we're going to do is we are going to unbox it out here in the garage and um, we're going to bring it in, you know, a piece, a part at a time, and then we're going to put it together in the basement. I'm excited to get it set up and be able to start running now that it's cold and dark in the morning. <laughs> we are going to start our unboxing of our new treadmill and hopefully get it put up. All today. With minimal fighting. <laughs> Look at this going on right here. Get out of there. Okay, step one, yes, <laughs> cut, yes. cut straps off. I see a snowflake. I see step, snowflakes. Step two, Boo. your treadmill is assembled. <laughs>
good. evening. Today we are reading the Soul Fitness Owner's Manual for the F63 Treadmill. <laughs> it was the best of times. <laughs> was the best of treadmills. It was the worst of treadmills. <laughs> Why would they put that in their own manual? <laughs> <laughs> Got arms up, put your arms in the air, like you just do not care. Step Maybe the three. little dashboard thing on next. Step okay, step, step four. To complete this step, it is recommended that you find something to rest the console on at an appropriate height, or have someone hold the console while you connect the cables. Nothing major, just gonna drop the well, I guess there's lots of important parts oh, too. Oh, it says step five, so that's gotta be the one. I'm not liking this part. <laughs> We're not amazing runners. We've run some 5Ks, some 10Ks, and even a half marathon. So we're not amazing runners, but we're experienced runners. And so we just wanted to go over a couple of things now that this treadmill is set up that you might need to know. Tip number one, always stand while running. Why isn't this working? Number two, the treadmill is not a place to have a snack. Wait, what? Number three, Always make sure your eyelids are open while running. Number 27. Never file your taxes while running. Don't balance. Finally, always stretch. Always! So our treadmill is done. We have it all together. We've tried it out a few times. It works so far. It's working great. All together, it took about two hours. Once the kids were in bed for the night, we just came down here and we knocked it out real quick. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think I think at, at that point, once the bed was already down here, it was only an hour and a half, maybe even an hour. It wasn't. Yeah, very so long. it went really well, and it's a it's a good piece of uh, equipment right now, and and so far so good. So. I'm happy with it. Together really quickly and, and really without any issue. We had a couple of minor things just getting things to line up. But I mean, other than that, it was it was like smooth. Uh, one thing that I saw in the manual that I'm pretty excited about was that they have a Soul app for both uh, iPhones and Android devices. Oh. And uh, so I wanna I wanna get that and try it out because it's you can track your fitness better that way. And I think it will help me try and stay in shape, especially now that we're in the winter and we can't really do much else. Huh, I didn't know they had an app. Yeah, I just saw that in the, in the owner's Does thing. it work with the... Yeah, it, it you I, you must connect it. Oh, it says it works with the Bluetooth, which oh, it has Bluetooth. Oh, so. oh, yeah. that's, oh, so that's cool. Yeah, so, so I'm really excited to get a chance to use that once I download the app on my phone, so. Um, and it also comes with a heart rate monitor. We do have more driveway footage. Um, that we were able to accomplish before the snow hit. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, some other projects that we have been working on, but we need to get this treadmill set up, especially now that it's winter, winter. out. <laughs> and we need some exercise. Um, if you have any questions about 
the treadmill or anything like that, you can put them below the video. Um, give us a little thumbs up like if you're liking our content. Um, and we just appreciate you guys watching. Um, it's really given us something creative and fun to do while we're all kind of in lockdown mode um, with not much else going on. You know, it's it's really been fun for us making these videos, so we hope that you guys are having fun watching them too. Yeah, because and it's it's just really nice to have something to do. Yeah, and and we never really thought anyone besides like our families would watch it. And obviously, people have, and we we really enjoy that. and That's pretty cool. So we just wanted to to thank all of you for watching. Next week is Halloween. The scariest week. <laughs> Watch for our next video because it is going to be the Halloween special. Um, so that'll be pretty fun. It should be it should be interesting. Yeah, we're pretty excited for it and we think that you guys will enjoy it too. Halloween special. Check it. 2020. Quarantine style. Candy. Isolation style. Lockdown style. Fog machines. Forts. Forts? Curses. Uh, I think there's a vampire? Ghosts? More ghosts? Double the ghosts. <laughs>